All right, kids, how's it going? It's Pink down here in the dungeon again, dicking around. Ooh. Um, gonna officially try the latest build. Through uh, three different amplification sources. There's a sustainer in here and a uh, nice fat, fat, fat bucker at the bridge with a three way switch. So I got Doris coil, humbucker in the middle, or south coil at the bottom. That's actually a hardware store switch that I got at a freaking, uh, I think, AutoZone. I needed an off on switch. And they had it, so that's what's in there. There's the rolling system on board, a Paizo bridge, a less trim variant. This uh, knob here that I'm kind of right hovering over is the volume for the guitar. It also true bypasses the uh, sustainer system off or on so that there's no annoying oscillations. It uh, turns off the power as well as disconnects the connection to the bridge pickup. Uh, that actually goes and kicks on the harmonic mode of the sustainer, as well as being a high and low pass filter on one pot. You can see the pilot light for the Roland. This one here is the volume control for the piezo bridge, which is over here. And then this one is the volume control for the synthesizer. The first switch to the right is a combination of the S1 and S2 switches that are usually found on a GK system. I just combined them to one. You sort, you get a uh, momentary off, momentary switch, and ground the middle, and you can, uh... ah, shit. I am being called. I gotta call somebody back in a couple of minutes. Um, but anyways, and then there's the, uh, the other switch chooses between synthesizer or synthesizer and guitar or guitar only at the bottom. So I'm gonna put it in the middle and I'm gonna put this thing down over here somewhere. Yeah, we're gonna turn on the different parts. We're gonna start with the acoustic. Thank you. 
close. Hear that? That's the sustainer working even with the guitar off. That's why I drew by past it. I don't know what the hell to do with it yet, but it does work. So, turn off the sustainer. Ah, man. I don't know. I mean, I, I gotta work out what to do with it and how to get everything dialed in right. I do have to add a kill switch so that I can kill the uh, guitar signal going to the Rollin thing. Because sometimes it's just obnoxious. You don't necessarily want a clean guitar coming through on your hex pickup. But, uh, just food for thought. More coming. Just, uh, this is where we're at so far. Peace.